at our organization, um, we have lots of things happening here. So we have an early childhood development center, which we look after the children um, five days a week from 7 to 5 p.m. Then we do have a soup kitchen where we serve six days a week for 100 to 150 plus people. Then we have a safe house for orphaned, abandoned and abused children that we are together with Padisa, so they will um, bring the children to us. And then we do gender-based violence workshops. We did two. We're doing another follow-up again. We have an after-school care program where we help children with reading, um, with their homework from Westlake Primary and also other schools in the surrounding areas. And then we do a um, school holiday program as well. So when schools are closed, children normally run around in the road, so we will keep them entertained and give them something to eat. And then we also organize youth camps from our community. And then we have a senior support group as well, which we do once a month. Our biggest challenge is uh, making sure there's enough food to feed the community because we're not funded by government. So we normally get donations from like most, mostly our neighbors or maybe from waste from different businesses. And also finances because we need gas, we need electricity, we need utensils, bigger pots to cook as well. So that's our main focus at the moment is to feed the community due to this COVID that's happening. The passion for me myself is to make sure that each child is fed and each senior is been taken care of and looked after properly and also making sure that nobody goes home without anything to eat. I feel our organization is important because lots of our community members are not being heard. So they come to us, we give them an ear to listen, we refer them to people that they can help because we are not counselors, so we only refer and um, we are the voice for our people in our community. Okay, I would ask people to help by giving towards our organization to um, give funding if they can for the running costs to um, have our programs going and also maybe for volunteers to come and help us as well. We also identified a piece of land in our community. We would love to start up a food garden and also maybe have a container put up there so that um, our organization can be broadened. So we can have another office for more people to be able to get employed as well through the organization. If people are seeing us, they can maybe sponsor and help volunteers. By making a donation or even just by sharing their story, you can help make a change.